Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Do I have an interesting clip for you? Wow. Now, uh, you know how you know how there are elements within the Democratic Party who don't have our best interests at hand. Obviously, right? Obviously, all right. And when it comes to politics and geopolitics, international politics. I keep saying that America, when it comes to America, whoever has the keys to America can use the vehicle of America to do anything they want around the world, right? Now, we can have, as black people, we can have the keys to America if we had some discipline and we chose to go that route, right? If we were serious and we chose to go that route, but we don't necessarily have the keys. We're, some people are trying, but we don't have the keys. But there are one group of people who have the keys, right? And they have the keys of power in one particular uh, party. They, they tend to be mostly in one particular party, in the Democratic Party. The Republican Party is more of a white, Christian, evangelical, uh, well-to-do party, right? So those, those are the ones that want to re-enslave us and all that stuff, right? But then you got the other white folk right on the democratic side right who i'm just going to say this these people do not represent the views of the average american within their group right because these are the well to do and the difference between this group of people right is that they don't need stupid dumb minions like the white christian evangelical uh, extremists on the Republican side to do their bidding. They don't need ground troops. All right, these people are on Wall Street. These people use a different form of of uh, of power. They go about it a different way, right? And theirs actually, arguably, can be seen as more destructive, right? More deadly than even the white Christian evangelicals because they had their time, right? Their time is up. They've they've already done their thing. They they did their their destruction, their, their their wars. They did all that. But these people over here are doing it, and they got the keys to America, and they're using those keys right to do what they want to do around the world. Right? I'm just gonna post this clip. Look, I ain't make this clip. All right, this is this is a dangerous clip because it's true. It's true. Now I didn't make the clip. Somebody else's clip, but it's true. Right? It all can be verified. Anyway, without further ado, here we go. All right, before I show you the clip, the, when I show you this clip, this is gonna be the reason why I say, as black people, we shouldn't support neither the Democrats or the Republicans wholeheartedly. We should only support policies that the Democrats or the Republicans promote if that policy is beneficial to us. If we can make a deal with that faction that benefit us we can support that policy if we can make a deal with that faction right that with policies that benefit us we should support that policy but not the group not the party as a whole unless we have a big enough portion of the party where we can control legislation and party uh, legislation and policy ourselves until we have a big enough group to play ball with these two groups because we're forced to support one of them. We're supposed to deal. We're in America. You got to deal with one of them. But we cannot wholeheartedly fight and die and spit and cry for these two groups wholeheartedly. We should only support policies and politicians that support the policies that benefit us. Okay. Now, watch the clip. It's time to wake up. America is owned and run by Jews. Almost every administration is the same. This is Joe Biden's Jewish minion. This is the faces of shame. Secretary of the Treasury Janet Yellen, Attorney General Merrick Garland, Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas, Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines, White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman, Secretary of State for Political Affairs Victoria Newland, Office of Science and Technology Policy Eric Lander, Director of the Central Intelligence Agency David S. Cohen. There you have it. What are the chances that less than 2% of the population would occupy all of 10 of the most important positions in the administration? Since Jews are dual nationals, ask yourself, 
Where do loyalties lay? Why do Jews control our government, our courts, our press, our schools, and our banking and entertainment industries? Jews have seized America. Face up to it. America has a Zionist-occupied government. Jews own or control the media, Hollywood, the U.S. money supply via the Federal Reserve European Jew bankers who set it up in 1913. Jews control the Ivy League universities via the directors and provosts. They've seized over 80% of senior cabinet positions in multiple recent administrations. Through Jew Larry Fink's BlackRock, they have board control interest in every corporation worth owning. They control academic book publishing. They set up or run most mischievous minority group organizations and spearhead BLM, NAACP, and SPLC. They also set up and fund the Antifa Urban Terror Group. Through the Jew George Soros, they have captured numerous state attorney general and prosecutor offices. The list of Jew mischief and power capture is too long to detail here. We are all in danger. This has to stop. Start by talking to your family, friends, and colleagues, and don't forget to name the Jews. This is going to make a lot of people mad. And this is going to make a lot of people cry. But that's just the way things are. To the people of Israel asking me in my comments, do I not care about the innocent citizens lost during this war? And my question to you is, do you care about the innocent lives of the people of Palestine lost during this war? Lost during decades? Lost five months ago? Lost six months ago? If your voice was silenced when your leaders were committing genocide against innocent people of Palestine due to greed, then my voice is silent. When you're being affected by the same war you started. You see, respect goes both ways. You respect me, and I respect you. You are empathetic towards me, and I am empathetic towards you. You respect my property, and I respect your property. I will not care for someone who does not care for me. That's just the law of life. You were silent when your leaders were committing genocide for decades against innocent children due to greed. And now you want me to speak for you? when you are not speaking for the innocent? It is not the people of Palestine who is hurting you. It is not the people who are saying free Palestine who is hurting you. It is the greed of your leaders. And it was your silence and your failure to hold your leaders accountable that is coming back to you and hurting you today. That's how life works. You hurt people and you get hurt back. Karma is a bitch. Excuse my language. Karma is a real Bitch.